God's covenant with David. Jeremiah 33 verses 14 through uh, 26. Let's read it. It says, look, the days are coming. This is the Lord's declaration. When I will fulfill the good promise that I have spoken concerning the house of Israel and the house of Judah. In those days and at that time, I will cause a righteous branch to sprout up for David. And he will administer justice and righteousness in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will dwell securely. And this is what she will be named. The Lord is our righteousness. For this is what the Lord says. David will never fail to have a man sitting on the throne of the house of Israel. The Levitical priest will never fail to have a man always before me to offer burnt offerings, to burn grain offerings, and to make sacrifices. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. This is what the Lord says. If you can break my covenant with the day and my covenant with the night so that day and night cease to come at their regular time, then also... My covenant with my servant David will be broken. If that could happen, then he would not have a son reigning on his throne and the Levitical priests would not be my ministers. Even as the stars of heaven cannot be counted and the sand of the sea cannot be measured, so too I will make innumerable and descendants of my servant David and the Levites and the Levites who ministered to me. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Have you not noticed what these people have said? They say the Lord has rejected the two families he has chosen. My people are treated with contempt and no longer regarded as a nation among them. This is what the Lord says. If I do not keep my covenant with the day and with the night, and if I fail to establish the fixed order of heaven and earth, then I might also reject the descendants of Jacob and of my servant David. That is, I will not take rulers from his descendants to rule over the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but in fact, I will restore. Yeah, you're the mercy. I will restore their fortunes and have compassion on them i thank you guys for the reading i thank you lord for the reading of your word i thank you lord for all those um who who are experiencing your word right now in their lives father god i thank you for all those who have been obedient to your voice and have obeyed you father god without murmuring and disputing they have given and pouring back into you cheerfully father god for you say that you love a cheerful giver so father god i just thank you right now i thank you for this righteous branch that is sprouting up through david i thank you for the ones that will be sprouting up through jesse father god the sinners that will be coming back to you father god that will be coming to full repentance and surrendering their lives to you father god in jesus name i thank you amen be blessed you guys